Lambert Mende, thanks for joining me on Upfront. Um, your boss, Joseph Kabila, has been president of the Democratic Republic of Congo for 17 years, and you've had presidential elections in your country delayed for nearly two years now. Is he ever going to give up power and let someone else be elected president? Well, as uh, my president used to say often, you just read the constitution of the Democratic Republic of the Congo and you find the answer. There is a provision within the constitution that can tell you if he can uh, step down or not. And it is written in the constitution very clearly. And uh, nothing will change in that constitution. Under the Constitution, there were supposed to be elections in 2016. Your government said there would be elections in 2016. Then they were delayed. We were told they would be in 2017. They didn't happen in 2017. Now we're told they should happen in December 23rd. I think December 23rd, 2018, at the end of this year. How do we know they're ever going to happen? Everybody know that uh, we had uh, security challenges. I think you have heard about uh, this uh, terrorist offensive we had to face in uh, North Kivu province where even soldiers from uh, UN died. You have already had already uh, understood about uh, what happened in Kasai with uh, the Kamwina Sampo terrorist offensive. All these didn't make it easy. It jeopardized the so whole that's the reason? exercises. You yes. haven't had elections? Of course. you can't Because in previous interviews, you, you and your president have said the reason for no elections was the electoral commission, the electoral register, getting technical can't... problems. Now you're switching and saying it's security. It seems no. to be looking for any excuse. Security is a big issue. You can't organize elections where they are killing those uh, sec uh, people of the electoral commission. It is impossible. We had the problem of... Uh, so on that basis, you're never going to have elections because there'll never be perfect security no, uh, no, no. in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Not but we soon. had to register for electors. And uh, when they start to register electors, we found a lot of provinces under attack, terrorist attack. And a lot of uh, officials from Electoral Commission were killed. And they refused to go ahead with these electoral census that jeopardize the exercise. So it is normal. That, so you're saying now that we haven't had elections, you haven't had elections uh, in the Democratic Republic of Congo for nearly two years now because of security issues. Here's what I don't get. Uh, you say that you want, you know, uh, safe elections, free elections without violence. Uh, your president has said in the past we want perfect elections, I believe is a phrase he's used. And yet in 2011, when he was re-elected for a second term, President Kabila, those elections were not considered free and fair by international monitors. You didn't care about free and fair elections in 2011 when he was being re-elected? This is comment of people. We, we found well, International elections. monitors from the Carter uh, Center I'm sorry, and other groups. This is not a country that belongs to uh, a co co commentator from uh, I don't know who. So who it decides is our elections, elections are free and fair? It is people of Congo who decide. Okay. And we decide that the election were good. The I government myself, that won decided myself, the election I was, was elected good. Okay. A that's member a, of parliament and it was measure. good. So let people say what they want. But the people of Congo, you say, will decide what's free and fair. The people in Congo are protesting in the streets. They who? have been for the last two years against the who? delays in elections. Who protests, my dear? There are no we, protests? We are having... Wow. 12 million people in this town of Kinshasa. Okay. And there, is, there were no, not even 10,000 people protesting. 10,000 people are, doesn't count as a protest in are, your eyes. We are having non-elected people trying to capture the so top job. So only elected people are elections. allowed to protest in a democracy. Is that your position? My That's position, a very bizarre definition my of a position is that non-elected people cannot give the policy of a nation. Only elected so you're people. against peaceful protests? Wow, that's very honest and a blunt statement. Peaceful protests? We that. lost policemen? They killed policemen, my dear. You, is it non-democratic to protest in the streets a delayed election? It is yes non-democratic no? to come with guns and to kill policemen okay, but if you're peaceful, in the streets. What about the peaceful It ones? was not peaceful. So 10,000 people came out not, with guns? You are not well informed. Okay, so among I'm asking ten, for information, Minister. Among Simple these question. Among thousands of people, okay. you found some bandits. Were, were there 10,000 people these with police, guns? These police people didn't commit suicide. Minister, were there 10,000 people with guns? They were killed and the police has the right to maintain order. And are many peaceful protests? 
protest was killed were 10,000 people. No, no, people. many, many, many who? Okay. So tell me the number. Well, I'll first answer my tell question. Me That's how it works. I ask a question. Figure. I'll t tell you a figure in a moment. Two people died. You said on 10 or 25. Minister. Two people died. Minister, this won't work as interview. Don't ask yourself. I question. have report of the police. Were 10,000 people carrying guns? That's all I'm asking. Simple no, question. No. So you accept there were non violent but protesters? Some terrorists were among the protesters. In every protest, there are fringes of people who carried guns. Of course, and the police did his job. But you're accepting that they were non violent protesters. They killed the police. And you killed non violent protesters? No, they did not kill any protester. Oh, it really? Is, okay. You, it is a lie. It's a lie. Okay. Nobody can say so that. France, they the, the French protester. government says that you use lethal force against Congolese civilians. Amnesty says you use firearms against unarmed protesters. Human Rights Watch says oh, that you you fired right at point watch. blank range. We have, you know which no, no, governments no. don't like. We have human no rights problem groups. with amnesty. But we have a problem with a lady working with human rights okay. watch. Everybody knows. Well, I'm glad you... I'm, he had a, she had okay, a problem well, with our immigration officers. Okay, so you have so a problem with human rights to watch. Revenge. Well, that what, is her problem. Well, Minister, apart I have, from the fact I, I that you I have not to respond to that. Apart from the fact that I'm having to repeat yes. lots of questions, what yes. I do admire is you do speak in a very blunt way. You said you have no problem with Amnesty International. This yes. is what Amnesty says. Yes. The wanton disregard for protesters' lives, the unlawful use of force cannot be tolerated. The use of firearms against unarmed protesters contravenes Congo's obligations under international Maybe law. they are not well informed. That is all. Oh, my word. That's just, all. So now, That's now all. you dismiss amnesty as well? You should not go and take a report from somebody who has a problem with somebody. But, but I should say take a report from the government amnesty, that's killing the people. It is amnesty who said so who it's I believe, all, It is true. Who should I believe? Police. I shouldn't believe the French government, the, the U.S. government, French amnesty, government. human rights watch, but I should believe the government Congolese, that's carrying out the killing. Because killings. we are in the field, my dear. Okay, so the Nobody UN... Nobody died okay, while so protesting. The, okay, so let me ask you yes. this question. A UN official, UN human rights official on the ground, was monitoring events, was thrown to the ground by security forces, kicked and punched, even though he was wearing a blue vest identifying as you. Was I'm he a terrorist not, as well? I'm not aware of that. Uh, oh, perhaps you should incident. get more information. Then. I'm not Just aware. Just now you were telling me to get lots of information. I, I'm you not don't aware. Seem, so you're not aware of an attack on a UN official reported all, by the New York Times? Would, no, no, we receive wow. all information from our police Maybe about you all the New York these Times. incidents, but these we didn't have that information. The reality is that the Congolese people, a lot of Congolese people, support Kabila. A lot of Congolese people don't support Kabila. It is democracy. It, Indeed, indeed. And there was I a poll, it. a democracy no without energy. elections. Yes. Uh, there was a d poll done last year that showed 10% of Congolese people support the president. 38% <laughs> say they back the exiled opposition and leader, Moise president Katumbi. supported by 10% of people? Well, he's, well, Are you joking? When did you make this? No, poll? a poll was done, an opinion when? poll. Who? By Who the Congo the, Research I Group of never, NYU. I have never seen those people wow. making a poll in Congo. Okay. They are making polls here in New York or in Brussels or in Paris. Okay. This is liar. It's, it's all made up. Those are liars. Wow, okay. So yes. they're liars. The we, UN might be liars. They Amnesty are, are liars. We Human went, Rights Watch are liars. We the French government are liars. The US China. government are liars. You're the we only one telling the some, truth. So, some Western wow. countries are unhappy because we are giving now partnership with Western countries China. are unhappy. Some, some partners, like okay. Belgium. Okay. And what about the respected head of the Catholic Church in your country mm -hmm. who has compared life in Congo to living in an open prison? We have a devastating no problem with the Catholic Church in Congo. Let me tell you. But they you have a problem with truth. you, it looks like. We have problem with some prominent clergymen who are acting as politicians. How about the head of the Catholic Church? No, we, the Catholic Church does not have a head. This is what he says. How can you Any kill? Any diocese have its own How authority. can you kill men, women, children, youths, and old people we all chanting religious songs? This is what he says. Are we now living in an open I'm prison? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are we now living in an Nobody open prison? Nobody were killed during demonstration. Cardinal Laurel Masonga says, course. are we now living in an open prison? It's a very <laughs> simple question. It is the clergyman who is acting as a politician who said so. But not the Catholic Church. Okay. So and he, he was disowned by many other bishops okay under the Catholic so you just Church. dismiss the bishop as well him we dismiss him why because, because he doesn't like your business relationship with china he's a politician okay do you fear your congolese opponents is that why you don't let them protest free freely do you think that there is any country in this central africa this part of the continent who where, where people can demonstrate freely as in the democratic republic of congo give me a where, single where hundreds country. of people are being shot dead 
100 people? Six people were shot dead this in January 2018. Six is not 100. Let's just do the maths then, yes. since, you, since you're challenging numbers. I love a few yes. facts. Uh, in December 2016, 62 people killed. No. In August 2017, 27 people lie, killed. Lie, lie. Uh, that, that's 89. Lie. Let's add on the seven in December. Without names. That's 96. Without Let's add on the identities. six in January. That's 102 dead. Without dead. identity. 102 just, dead. Just the figures. you're just dismissing your fellow Congolese. Just the figures. You don't seem to care. Where is the names? Why don't five, you read the reports by people, Amnesty report Human Rights Watch? Watch. Report. Reuters. We people can be influenced and they write reports. Way. It's impossible to have a conversation with because they when I give you a fact, fake report, you dismiss it. They can write fake oh, it's reports. Fake news. You're borrowing President they Trump's phrase. They can write okay. fake reports. I'm okay. sorry. How many have you killed? They have been confrontation between terrorist elements. You call them terrorists. And our soldiers. No one agrees with you. No, no, no. In the Kananga. No not one in agrees Kinshasa. With you. Not in Kinshasa. How many people have been killed? Demonstration. Minister. Nobody were killed during the demonstration. How many were killed? Five. Five terrorists since, were killed. Since December 2016, how many people have been killed in protests? Not even ten. Really? Not even so ten. When, so and when? we have court martial, the, the soldiers well. who have killed the people without out of the combat operations. The problem operations. is, you keep saying the facts are fake, information that your government is actually trying to control information. You shut down the internet. You prevent people from oh, texting. Oh. Sounds like you're very worried you about free protests. You will not protest. find a country where freedom of speaking, of speech, freedom of uh, expression more than Congo with respect, in this is just black nonsense. Africa. You will just, not fight. You're just Give saying, me a single you're just name. making nonsensical statements. Give me a single name country, You're the freest country in Africa. Are you the freest country in Africa? Give me a single name I'm of a country. You are with, not able. With respect, you're not interviewing me. I'm no, interviewing no, no. you. Who is there is I'm not a single, single question. country Are you saying Africa? that your country is yes. the, has the freest speech in black in Africa, black. to use your phrase? Yes. So why, of, so why out did of the South EU Africa. sanction you, you're the Minister of Communications, yes. for a, quote, repressive media policy because of China. that undermines the election process? You're because now banned from traveling to the EU. This is, you're banned. This is lobby from Belgium, I know very okay. well. Okay. So this because of China, I know of very well. And why did the U.S. Because government sanction officials in, 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 in the... I'm not sanctioned in the by the U.S. But I'm your colleagues US. are? Your colleagues are? No minister was Both the US and the EU have sanctioned no, 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 members no, no. of your government, but apparently you're the freest government in, quote, black Africa. No, 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 no. I mean, this is why some of your statements are and rather nonsensical. We challenge that measures. Okay. We are challenging that measures. Okay. Because you're challenging them. But yes, right now you're sanctioned by the EU. We have a problem with a country called Belgium. Okay, but the US government says you're corrupt and prey on your citizens. Maybe they are influenced by Belgium. Okay, why wow. not? Belgium is a why superpower not? these days. No, they? no, superpower. They can change the Trump administration. No, no, view no, they are Africa. making a lobby. Why Here's not? what I don't get. The US government, the EU, the Belgian government, the I French government, say, no, the Human I'm Rights Watch. I'm speaking of Belgium. I'm not. Don't extend to others. I'm, I'm talking, I'm quoting. The US that is government. You. Okay, me. The US, I'm quoting the US government, the French government, the EU, uh, Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, NYU, the UN, the ca uh, cardinals in the Catholic Church. You've dismissed no, them all. No, no, no. Catholic You've dismissed Church them. is not. Okay, one cardinal that you don't like in the Catholic Church, a very bishop. senior cardinal. Yes. Okay. That is You've dismissed truth. all these people, which is your right. But what I don't get is why not? Why pretend? that you're a democracy when no one thinks we you are. are. Why not just say, you know what, we don't care what anyone thinks of us. We are a democracy. We don't care. We are a Why democracy. Pretend? Why go but through this charade? we are a free people. Where you say you're the freest country well, in Yes, we are a democracy, but we are free to interact with who, they wa who we want. And when we decided to interact with China, we got problems with Belgium because they are the former colonizer and they wanted us to remain in partnership with them. So my question is, yes. when the, all of this criticism from the international community is coming at you, why not just say, we don't care? Why pretend that you're a democracy when no one thinks you are? We are a democracy because we are. It is a matter of a fact. It is not a matter well, of opinion. A president who it is not a matter of the opinion term. of others. That's how this interview began. It is a matter of fact, my dear. Okay. It is not a matter of somebody say you are a democrat, so you are a democrat. It is a matter of facts. Are we acting as Democrat? If yes, we are Democrat. Even if you don't think that we are Democrat, if factually we act as Democrat, we are Democrat indeed. Lambert Mende, thank you for joining me on Upfront. Thank you. Thank you.